the, the character that I'm going to be speaking this line to is named Sabretooth. And I, like, again, don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> so you and had I, an experience with the comics. Because I asked so. them, I said, who's this? Because when I read the line, I said, holy crap, this is pretty violent. Yes. You know, and he said, well, it's Sabretooth. And I, and I honestly, I said, I, is this an animal cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> and they just laugh when they stop laughing. They, an animal cartoon? Is it Wolverine, saber tooth, they're beasts, they're animals. No, no Cal, no. This, and this is the line they gave me. All right, you egg sucking piece of gutter trash. And Cal, you were born in a land far, far away from here, correct? Many moons from here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, yep. Tell the folks where you're originally from. Pardon? Tell the folks where you're originally from, where you're born. Dublin, Dublin, Ireland. Yeah, yep. great city. Two, uh, five in the family. Fiona was the oldest. Myself, she was born in the north of Ireland. I was born in Dublin. So was Barry and Rory and Sean were born when we came over to this, the other country, Canada. The other, yes, Canada. <laughs> north a little, the great way, north a little bit. Do you ever get to back? Get, do you ever get back to Dublin at all? I beg your pardon. Do you ever get back to Dublin at all? You go back to Dublin ever? to Ireland? No, the last time I was there was with my mom. She's no longer with us, but uh, in '89. Okay. Yeah. All so, right. And met relatives I had never met before in my life, and it was just wonderful to do that. When did you move to Toronto? What uh, about what age? When did I move to Toronto? About what age were you? Twenty-two or something like that. Twenty-one or twenty-two. Okay. Yeah, twenty-one. So just even growing up in Ireland and then move, you know, what like what kind of kid were you growing up? Like, what, obviously you you've now all inhabited these iconic characters too. But like, just as a kid, were you gravitating towards some of those things? Or I know there's a lot of music in your background too. So Every, everything was music. That's, yeah. that's all that mattered to the entire family, an Irish family. And we toured as a family. Mom would play the piano, and we would the four of us. Because Sean was born blind and deaf, the last or my last little brother, and, um, and so there were four of us that would sing and to go around to different functions, whether conservative party or liberal party, we would change the name. If the song is, if you're Irish, come into the parlor. If you're liberal, come into the parlor. And run across the street to the conservative people. If you're conservative. And, and, we, and nobody caught on to that. And like if, we, if we were at the supper table ordering, like, can you pass the butter? Like, there was never every, please. It was like, butter, and then and automatic, it would go into four-part harmony. Butter, 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 butter. <laughs> That you know, it was, so the whole life was. Wait like a that. minute! Did this transition into part of Larry's? Wasn't there? Did you? Was it parquet? Were you doing the, the the parquet margarine commercials too? No. Okay. <laughs> what do you like to ask? Okay. <laughs> I was it, it was the parquet. Are they paying? Are they paying? Are they yeah. Are they looking? Are they? <laughs> so going into Toronto. Okay. So then, talk a little bit about the the variety show uh, that you were into. Uh, was it um, um you, the um. Circus, the the variety show Circus. Circus, mm -hmm. yeah. Leslie Nielsen did the did the um, pilot with us. Okay, he was like the uh, what do you call him, the ringmaster. Right, right. And there was a girl. It was actually copied and styled after Donnie and Marie show. The girl looked just like Marie. I was Donnie Osmond, and uh, we went to Vegas to sell the show to to Viacom, who ended up buying it, and met Donnie Osmond and Marie Osmond. It was kind of cute, and. Um, uh, that was from 78 to 83, 82, yeah. 83, five years. And, and you were also was, in a band before that, too, like Deja Vu. Pardon? Deja, Deja Vu, the yeah, band. Yeah, we, we toured with Joe Cocker. I was just yeah. telling you that. Wow. And, and it was uh, to replace Three Dog Night folded in the, in the U.S. And that was a, they were a big popular group. And so they found three singers in Canada, three of us. And um, I put the band together and we rehearsed underground for like eight, ten months and then went to New York, recorded the album and toured with Joe Cocker. And I got tired of, tired of it after two years because I was working very hard doing, I was like the guy in Canada for singing jingles, like, you know, commercials right. for beer, bras, cereals, whatever. And they fly me to New York and Chicago to do different okay. commercials. And so they were, they were paying us nothing on this record, and plus screaming where you shouldn't be singing from <laughs> rock and roll. So I just got passed and just okay. left the group. So plus the traveling, and it was like the, the money was better with the, with the commercials and everything like that. So how did that segue into voice acting? Like, how did you transition that? Yeah, I never expected ever to be doing voiceover, except we were always peed off because, you know, voiceovers got paid double scale automatically, or at least one and a half. Singers, never. <laughs> Singers were always just scale, and we didn't have, we didn't have agents. 
Right. There's no agents for singers, but voiceover people did. So they got like at least one and a half. So if they had their agent, they're fifteen percent, whatever. And I got a call from because they did a commercial for Chrysler, and the voice that they wanted me, they, for some reason, they was like, it's a talk singing. It was like, who's got all the four by fours? And on the, the other group singer singing, Chrysler's got the four by fours. Sound up. I would do that. So they so they, someone to remember that and said, but you be interested in auditioning for this voice thing for Project X, <laughs> the X Men. Uh huh. So we all went to this audition, all of us, and um, every one of the voices are Canadian on the X Men series. Oh, okay. And before that, Jim Henson too, working with Jim Henson, right? Yeah, on Fraggle yeah, Rock. I did Fraggle Rock with Jim Henson oh. for five well, you did, years. You're doing like a lot of the songs did, did, and the, the singing. Yeah. Like myself and Sharon Lee helped the entire cast on whenever the songs they had cast had to sing a song, we would bolster it and like make it sound great and stuff. And then I played a, a what the hell is the name of this? Sorry. Um, <laughs> Not a, not a, a doozer. Doozer. I was one of the doozers yeah. for, for, for a minute. To this day, I still can't and, believe and Wolverine also, is doozer. And I also, yes, and I also did for, because um, God bless him, he came in, Henson came in for a couple of times, a couple of the tapings, because they were in Toronto. Wow. And um, interesting watching the way they filmed that show, because they're talking about puppetry and stuff, and they were underneath, standing up, but they yeah. built this intricate, the whole set on top of them. And so I said, I, I do a good Kermit. <laughs> He's the voice of Kermit. <laughs> and he says, really? I said, yeah. So I immediately went into, why are there always songs about rainbows? And he just went, oh, you do. Yes, you, yes, you do. <laughs> so, and, and, you know, I never thought about doing voices. And so I auditioned for the X-Men and, and got it. Yeah. Wow. That's, I, I mean, I always I, I ask actors that have worked with Muppets, too. It's like, do you... Do you fall into that trap sometimes where you see the performer, but then all of a sudden, like the next thing you know, you're talking to the Muppet, like as a like, or were you interested? How quickly you forget? No, you. Yeah. I, no, I because they're that good. Because yeah. they did Mr. Dress Up, and Mr. Dress Up had Muppets and puppets too, and yeah. you, I just look at that's all I would look at. I wouldn't think about the hand or anything at right. all because they're so real. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then you then you're interacting with us, having this conversation too. So. <laughs> Well, that's they, right. a, they asked me and the, the people, because they were all from L.A. and New York in the casting session in Toronto. And they said, Can, so I said, who is, we didn't know who he was. So I didn't know who he was at all. Yeah. Not an inkling. And so they showed me a picture of him and said, he's five foot three. He's, he's built like a brick poop house. Mm -hmm. And he doesn't, he just loves, he's got a big heart. And he never leaves, always backs up his friends. So, so they gave me this line. And I looked at the line. And my name's Wolverine. So... The, the character that I'm going to be speaking this line to is named Sabretooth. And I, like, again, don't know what the hell they're talking about. <laughs> so you and, had I, and I said, because I asked them, I said, who's this? Because I read, when I read the line, I said, holy crap, this is pretty violent. Yes. You know, and he said, well, it's Sabretooth. And I, and I honestly, I said, I, is this an animal cartoon? <laughs> <laughs> and they just laughed when they stopped laughing. They, an animal cartoon? He said, <laughs> Wolverine, saber tooth, they're beasts, they're animals. No, no Cal, no. This, and this is the line they gave me. All right, you egg sucking piece of gutter trash. You always did like picking on people shorter than you. Well, I'm shorter. Try picking on me. Yes. And they, they were behind the glass and they just went, holy shit. <laughs> and they just fed me a bunch more lines and I went, I went home and I got that wonderful call. We'd like you to be our Wolverine. I'm like, jeez. Oh, okay. wow. I'll have to check my calendar. <laughs> did, you, did you start going buying comic books at that point and just going through comic books and learning about the characters? And my wife did. She went, when I okay, got well, home, she had yeah. like two comic books for me to read. Yeah. Hey, South